Hello everyone, welcome back to the farm. We hope y'all are doing well. A little bit late posting this video today for you. Had to go out of town yesterday, which was Wednesday, and didn't quite get around to making the video, but here we are on Thursday. And also what's gonna happen here is at 8 p.m. tonight, which is Thursday, our website will open up and it will shut back down at 8 p.m. on Friday. We will be at the South County Seasonal Farmers Market from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. this Saturday. And the deliveries for Franklin County will start at right about 11 a.m. Saturday as well. Our products can also be found at these locations. Canada Save a Bit, 24800 Virgil H. Good Highway in Boone's Mill. Melvin's Farm to Fork Store, 1120 Peters Pike Road in Wards, Virginia. Mountain View Country Market, 6460 Grassy Hill Road in Boone's Mill. Woods Farms, 2921 Naff Road, also in Boone's Mill. Saturdays at the South County Seasonal Farmers Market, 3565 Electric Road in Roanoke. Also, Sidecar Restaurant, 411 First Street, downtown Roanoke. Well, let's go out here in the garden and see what's been happening. Here we are back out in the garden. Some transplants right through here. As you can tell by the transplanter sitting there as well. Lots of lettuces growing through here. Looks like some of these are getting ready to go out to bolt a little bit. Probably had a lot to do with that heat we've had recently and there's more on the way. So we'll see how we can deal with that. It's hard to believe it's already gotten that warm this year. Here we go under the next tunnel. Some of that salad to the right there needs to be cropped out. A few beets. Moles have been in here, but uh, we were able to get one of them. Haven't seen any more activity, so we assume that it's just one, but who knows, could be more. A lot of this has been cropped out and New salad transplanted in the ground. Let's head down to the second garden. Looks like we have a few beets through here. I know we've been harvesting out of this to take to farmer's market. We need to get some of that in jars as well. We enjoy our canned beets. Here's the kale that you guys have been enjoying as well. And here's one thing I haven't really talked about a whole lot, but the cauliflower. We've grown a little bit of this. It's looking pretty nice. We don't have very much here, as you can see, for sale or anything like that. But we do have some here for us, and it's been pretty interesting. It's pretty crispy. A lot more crispy than what I would traditionally see in the grocery store. Or, excuse me, eat from the grocery store. I believe this garlic's got to come out of here before too long as well. The peppers are coming along quite nicely. Looking really good. That takes peppers a long time to produce anything, that's for sure. So maybe we'll see that here in, <laughs> I guess, at least a month. Probably not by the 4th of July. I've been skipping over one thing here. Sorry about that. But we have sweet potatoes growing again. These are sweet potato slips. So we should have some sweet potatoes for you guys sometime October or November, maybe just in time for your Thanksgiving meals. A few more beets over there that are growing. The broccolini almost got pulled up. The bug pressure starting to get pretty intense on these. However, this came through here and cropped a lot of this out as far as cropping off the heads of them. So maybe they'll regrow back and the bugs will not be such an issue. Moving right along, we have carrots right through here that have been planted. Looks like I need to get down here and do some more weeding. Hopefully tomorrow I can get down here for that. The spinach that we still have not cropped out, 
so tired of spinach trying to grow it. We don't even want to mess with it. We can just sit right there. <laughs> just kidding, but we do have to get that out of there. And then here are the carrots and the tomatoes are interplanted here. We will need to get some stakes in these things here before too long because they're getting ready to fall over. And we do prefer to grow them on the ground, but this year we're just not going to have the garden space to do that. So our tomatoes will be done for before the first frost, much like everyone else's because of staking them up. For some reason, when you st leave them on the ground, they, they grow for a long time. Something about it. Something about it. Onions through here. Let me bring it back up here a little bit for you. Change my angle on the hillside here. Of course, as always, more salad. Some of this is what was harvested recently. I believe we did that Tuesday. More salad through here. And carrots, carrots, carrots. We have lots of carrots. That right there is celery. It's getting close. So you all may see that at the farmer's market, provided it makes it through the heat. I'm not sure if it'll be this week could poss possibly be next week. And then more onions growing through here. Well guys, we appreciate it. Hope y'all had a good one and we'll see y'all soon. Take it easy.